Welcome right back to the action here. 8.15 to go in this game. 49-19 our score, so a 30-point deficit for the Possums. You know, in this last quarter of the game, if you will, see if they can put something together. And that, that is not the way to do it. Air ball on the three. Neil gets the rebound. Near air balls on the two. But they get a three out of it, so something works there. Well, great, and if you give somebody enough sight, sooner or later, something's going to fall. And that is probably how you explain why the Possums have 22 points tonight. And as my buddy, the TLC, would say, that's actual and factual. Oh, Micah just completely blocked there. Not even close. He was being nice, Ricky. Red Truck still on the sidelines. He played a little bit of the first half. You wonder if he have reached our limit on carbon emissions or something for the night. Now he just has to sit. Or maybe he delivered all of his bread. If that is all he was carrying, he... There's some, something wrong with his carbon. We gotta start calling a bread basket because there wasn't much in there. Oh, the impact goes right through Neil's legs. You just can't let it happen. I wonder if Neil's shorts were lower like they should be, the ball would have got caught in the shorts and they would still have it right now. Possibly they would have some points. You know, time can only tell, Graydon. I'm really curious as to why he's wearing them hiked up like that. I mean, does it give him a psychological boost? Is he trying to intimidate the other team? If that gives him a psychological boost, there is a problem. I think there's a problem either I, way. I, there may be a problem either way. Forty-nine twenty-two. our score is 6.20 to go in this one, and just trying to make something happen there, the pass went right over Brian's head, <coughs> excuse me. Graydon, right now the possums remind me of a boat who's been running no, over rocks by its captain. We've... Okay. We're asking the captain to get back on the boat, and he's and saying, he is saying no. no. <laughs> but we will be back broadcasting, even though sometimes it looks like we're broadcasting a sinking ship. We will be back. Yes, we will. To borrow a line from Arnold Schwarzenegger, who will be on the broadcast sometime this season. Yeah, I'm glad to hear that. I, I am too. You know, I like Arnold Schwarzenegger. I love his movies. And I'm glad we can get a big name celebrity like that on this little ho-dunk, middle of nowhere college. Incidentally, we might as well tell people now, we had Dean Morgan on last time. Dean Morgan will not be back. Dean Morgan has cut off all communication with the students. He's not talking to the triangle, and he's certainly not going to be on Blaha basketball. So that's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. And we've been in negotiation with several other people. I, uh, I recently contacted Simon and Garfunkel to see if they would like to do a reunion with us, but I haven't heard back. As from long as it's not them. Simon and the Beanies, I'll have them on. We got to clarify. I don't. I don't think we've even invited them yet. Not that bad, but, but they are ones to just show up, so we must yeah. keep an eye out. You know, I talked to Charles Barkley earlier. A very interesting conversation, actually, but I'm not sure he's going to be coming on. I think he's a little too busy with his Weight Watcher commercials. Speaking of commercials, and we're not, we, we don't get, we obviously don't get paid to do endorsements here. But, but, I got some of this new Vicks Nature Cold and Flu Medicine. Infused with real honey, okay? Real I, honey? I, a real honey, okay? I tried some on my finger just to see what it... It was literally like eating one of those honey sticks. Like, the, the I, for all I knew, I was sucking on the little bear that we used to have in our house filled with honey, okay? And used to have one. It was... It was le Wait a minute, who... Okay, we're, we're, we're going to look back on this for the whole season, and we're going to ask one question. Who was he passing the ball to? There was no one there. There was no one there. God was there. Well, well I, I don't... I playing for the possum because if he is, there's something going on. He is teaching them a hard lesson of humility tonight. 53-22, 344 to go. Wouldn't it be wonderful if the continues to grow. learn to work together by the end of the season and turn it all around like some kind of kinky Hallmark movie? What kind of Hallmark movie? Cheesy, great Cheesy. Job. Oh, Okay, Hallmark. I'm not watching sure. Kinky. I think you did. I, I don't think sure Kinky and Hallmark belong in the same thing. <laughs> no. No. 
<laughs> it's late, guys. The FEC has enough on their hands right now with yes, the Super Bowl. Do not do. bring up kinky Hallmark movies. <laughs> <laughs> it's too much. And for the, the viewing audience at home, you have to realize that it's kind now, of late now, we're doing this. Some people may not know what we're talking about, Hallmark. If they have, if you have an older TV that's maybe projection, you're not going to get Hallmark. But, but, what you if you like to, to keep up with the times, if you like to keep up with the times, you got the flat screen, mm -hmm. you may get Hallmark. You might get up to 20 channels with the flat screen grid, and we just heard that last night, actually. Imagine that. How also, far we have come. You might need a little box to attach to your antenna. We're not sure what this box does, but it might give you more channels. 50, 55, 22, 238 our score. I heard they have a go government voucher for it. I think this was the whole analog thing that happened a couple of years ago, so this could be old news. I don't know. I used to subscribe to a magazine called Analog. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Was that a, how often did you get that? Bi-weekly, bi-monthly? I believe it was a bi-monthly publication. That's, that's not bad. As the possum continue to have trouble handling the ball, 55-22, two, 2 10 to go. Great, I'm not sure they have so much trouble handling it as they do holding on to it. They seem to be giving the ball away. 55-22, 158. Not looking good. I mean, it's, it hasn't looked good for a long time for the possum here. But we were wondering, will they be able to put something together, get it together, play as a team? They haven't been able to do it. Great, now that was kind of the Hell Mary of basketball right there. It was, and there was really no point to it because it was 55-22. Maybe that's why they did it. Maybe. I've stopped questioning why things happen sometimes. Why does Chris pass the ball to nobody? Why does Neil wear his shorts? So Why high. Film class last so long on and the bread night. truck is back in, and the bread truck literally just ran in a circle around the outside of the action, and now he heads down the, the bread court. truck. Might need to check his steering column and stuff. <laughs> might have an alignment problem there. He might. You know, we might need to recalibrate his settings or something. You know, you know, this reference came a year too late because. If he was the bread truck last year, we could have made a joke about how the bread truck got booted, booted because the oh. bread truck did get booted. Literally. Yes, did. Literally. Bread truck has the ball. Bread truck gets rid of the ball. 46, 45 seconds to go. Three there by Micah. Micah, you can say what you will about the possums. Micah has played hard all game. He shot that ball and missed. He completely, immediately, immediately got on Allen to try and get the rebound or try and get the ball back. He's playing hard even though they're down by over 30 points. Well, Green, it's like I've been saying the whole game. The possums have the raw talent and they have the drive and they're playing their heart out. They just need to get the fundamentals down and all get on the same page. Their talent is as raw as Neil's upper thighs. Unfortunately, we know what they look like because his shorts are so high. 13 Nobody seconds to go. That. 13 seconds to go. The clock stopped. 58. We might have to blur his legs out. <laughs> that would be terrible because I don't think we can do that with our current software. We don't have the technology. We don't have the technology to blur out Neil's legs. Well, people, this is what happens when we don't get... Six conscious. seconds, five seconds, Chris, another three. That wasn't even close, Graydon. So and close. there's the buzzer. 58-22 is our final. Possums, they at least have something to build off of. That's true. Although they've continued to get things to build off of, and they haven't started building yet. Well, great, you know, you want to get all your material there, and then you've got to lay the foundation, and then you actually start putting Speaking up the of frame. laying foundation, we got to go because there's some fresh cement outside we might get to put our hands in. That's true. So, all right, so we're not going to be here next week, but we'll see you next week. We'll get that schedule out there and be back either here or in the main gym or in the practice gym. I think it's safe to say the game's going to be at 10 o'clock if we've learned anything. Probably. If history repeats itself, which it does. So. All right, well, Daniel Grayton, Jared Helms from the main gym. Uh, we watched MSS beat the Possum 58-24. We'll see you next week on Basketball.